One more time for the beautiful Debbie, everybody. She did a wonderful job. Where's the kids at in the audience out there today? Looking for a kid to help me out. It's not going to be something crazy like that. Something a little bit sweeter. You know what? We got some young ladies in the audience. We got some young guys. Let's do this. Let's have a young lady come up here. I love the face thing. You both have been in the front row for a while. They're fighting each other. What do you think, Mom? Which one? Anyone? Let's play. Oh, you'll be perfect for this. Now, I love to bring people up from the audience so they can experience the illusions firsthand. And uh, this is one of my favorite illusions. I've been doing this one for a very long time. This was very cool because it brings somebody up from the audience, allows them to be a star on stage. What is your name? The beautiful Krishma, everybody. Let's hear it for Krishma. Krishma, how old are you? Ten. Ten years old. Krishma, have you ever dreamed of being a magician's beautiful assistant? Yes. Perfect. You didn't know that, did you, Bob? <laughs> She's shaking her head no. Listen, in a second, Krishma, we're going to take you back here. We're going to build an illusion from the ground up. We're going to have you lay down on top of it. Then we're going to float you in the air. But only if everyone out there makes a lot of noise for Chris It's a bag with my picture on it just for you. She's not leaving. Okay. <laughs> I will not leave either. Check it out. Inside the bag comes this rope. If you take this rope and you concentrate on it hard enough, Krishna, you can get this rope to float in the air just like that. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to blow right in the center. Turns right back to rope. Krishna, this one's for you. I'll teach you how it works after the show. Let's give her one more big round of applause, everybody. Get off my stage. There she goes. <laughs> an escape and then an illusion. So I gotta get him back. I'm gonna load him up. And I'm gonna get him out Looney Tunes style. This is for everybody in the audience that's old like me. We grew up on Looney Tunes. This is how Bugs Bunny would do it. Let's hear one more time for Zach. Something a little more lighthearted for the kids. You know what? This is a great audience. Audience, would you like to see Zach give you a big Hollywood ending today? They want it. Yeah, he wants it right there. Just for him. Oh! Let's hear from Zach Taylor, everybody. 
Yeah. He's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, I need to bring an adult lady from the audience up on the stage to help me out for this one. Now, I love to pick on grandmas. Who doesn't love a good grandma? If you're sitting next to a good grandma in the audience, let's bring her up on stage. So, guys, help me out. There's some great ladies in the audience. Yes, oh, no. oh, oh. She doesn't even know it's coming. Do you even know her, ma'am? You do know her. The lady in the visor, you know her? Do you know the lady behind you? You don't even, you know what? You're a troublemaker. You get up here. I want you. I love it. You're going to be fun. <laughs> Let's give her a big round of applause, everybody. You're not a grandma, but you're going to get up. I love you. You're going to be fun. You're my type of people right here. Having a good time out in that audience. <laughs> you really don't know her? <laughs> she wanted you to come up here so bad. <laughs> That's your new best friend. <laughs> What's your name? The beautiful Kimberly. Put your hands together for Kimberly, everybody. I love her. Kimberly, you're going to help me out with something up here today. Now, we're going to do a uh, very dangerous escape, Kimberly. And in order to do this, I'm going to have to get uh, some things together here. The first thing I want to show you in the audience at the same time, we're going to do a little bit of discussion, then we'll roll right into your job. These right here are inversion boots. Now, these things are going to allow me to go upside down in just a second from under that contraption over there. This is a big, crazy, scary contraption. So, as you like to do this, kids in the audience, kids listen. You should never try this at home. If you have one of these at home, there's something wrong. This is going to get nuts. So that's the first boot. We're going to put the second boot on. When I put this one on, I do like to always ask the audience. By a show of hands, has anybody out there ever heard of a guy named uh, Harry Houdini? Yeah, Harry Houdini was the greatest escape artist of all time. A lot of people don't know that Houdini's brother was also an escape artist. When Houdini was about to pass on, he told his brother to take all of his stuff and to burn it. That way none of his effects could ever be performed again. His brother didn't do that. He kept them for himself, then he passed them on. On July 26, 2004, Houdini's straitjacket sold at auction to an unknown bidder for $31,390. And this is not it. No, but it is a straight jacket. Now your job up here today is to get me inside this straight jacket. What, what is your name again? Kimberly. The beautiful Kimberly. Your job is to get me inside this straight jacket. Now I need you to get me inside this straight jacket tight. So I need you to be rough. Kimberly, can you be rough? Just pretend I'm that guy. He's waving. Yeah, all right. from the top down the back, getting that as tight as you can. She's rough. Okay, this is going to be good for the audience, not so much for me. Now, straight jackets are made from canvas and leather. This is a replica of what one of Harry Houdini's straight jackets would have looked like. Same coloration, same leather pattern. In a second, we're going to pass these arms right around the outside, and then Kimberly's going to get them nice and tight right around the middle. This is what makes a straight jacket really snug. It's like you're giving yourself a big bear hug. Hey, Kimberly, get that nice and tight. Just don't give it a twist. Okay, she's twisting it. <laughs> it's going to be extra hard. You're doing good. Well, let me take a breath in first. <laughs> wow, dude, she's tough. <laughs> Just one last strap, Kimberly. One last strap. Oh, okay, one second. <laughs> Kimberly, there's rules on this strap. You stuck right in there, didn't you? Kimberly, I want you to take a look at this strap. I want you to notice the holes only go a little more than halfway up that strap. Do you see where that last hole is? When you get to that last hole, stop pulling. It doesn't go any further. Kimberly, please don't make your own hole up here today. Kimberly, I'm going to just turn my back to you. I want you to stand right here. I'm just going to swing it back to you. I need you to catch it. This is my favorite part of the show. All right, Kimberly, get ready to catch that strap. Kimberly, assume the position. Oh, wow, you've done this before. <laughs> okay. All right, Kimberly, maybe just a little bit closer. It's not that long. Okay, here we go. Coming back to me. Yeah. Oh, she, she got me on the back swing. Let's hear for Kimberly. 
family, everybody. Shane has her out. Kimberly, like, let's get this over. Get that nice and tight, Kimberly. Nice and tight. Yeah, you don't worry about things, sweetheart. Just get it nice and tight. Okay, go ahead. Let's just go. Okay, keep going. You're good. You're good. Don't worry about things. Just get it. Ha! <laughs> That's good. Okay. That's good. That's good. Let's hear it one more time for Kimberly, everybody. Kimberly, take a bow. You were great. Let's hear it for Kimberly, everybody. You are released. What I'm about to do up here is very dangerous. Now, if I survive this next escape, which I hope I do, I want to show you guys one more great illusion. You guys have been a fantastic crowd here today. What I'm about to do is go upside down in just a second to work my way out of the straight jacket from under that thing over there. What, Zach's going to get me all the way in the up position. He's going to turn on that saw. That saw is going to work its way down towards that chain, holding apart those two sets of giant metal teeth. I'm going to have to get out before it grinds through that chain, sending those teeth crashing shut on whatever happens to still be in between. Hopefully not me. Now, folks in the audience, do me a big favor and root me on as I go. Let me know how I'm doing, because I am putting my life on the line for your entertainment here today. We call this the claw. 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 